This is the uh, Quadrajet electronic version. I'm going to disassemble it, get it ready for cleaning. You need a little room in the back so when you, we put it back together we can get a screwdriver back there to pry it. You get up Where this one's being so stubborn, this should be far enough for it. There we go. Should persuade it a little. Now, this one, the uh, choke has never been apart. They're, they have rivets on it. And what I do is drill these out, and then I use self-tapping screws um, to put it back together. Another thing I like to do as I go along is I uh, have my little digital camera out here. Shots of the carburetor, all four sides, any, and also anything that uh, might be difficult or looks kind of complicated such as all this choke stuff here and the choke pull back so when I go to put it back together if I need to refer to the picture uh, I can makes uh, don't have to remember so much and we're taking the choke pull back off now These are kind of a special screw. See how they're angled there, so be careful not to lose them. Put a vacuum pump on this and uh, see if it holds it in, pulls it in. If it does, you're, you're okay there. Now the quadrajets always have these two screws down here inside that you need to get out.
Now these two long screws are kind of important because they uh, go all the way through the carburetor and uh, into the throttle body. It helps hold the throttle body on. These screws seem to be kind of long-winded. Okay, get all of the top screws out. Got our uh, accelerator pump arm off. We're almost ready to. Uh, Take the top off, and we do need to get the uh, choke linkage loose here. And we have to take off the uh, we don't have to do it now, but this is a good time to do it. The secondary metering rods. You know, be careful of these things. We don't damage them. See, they're not bent. They look real good. A lot of times you'll find numbers on them. And that will help you identify them if you need to buy new ones. They are available through us. Forgot one. There's a little pin right here. It was right there. Okay. Now, it doesn't take much prying to get this off, so uh, if it doesn't come right off, you check and make sure you got all the screws loose. Bang on a little bit with a rubber hammer. Break it loose. Be real careful of this. This is your electronic solenoid. You don't want to break that. Those things can be expensive. Got the top off. And you remember how this goes. I try to save the gaskets as I go along as much as I can, just so I can match them up. A lot of, a lot of the kits will come with uh, more than one gasket option and uh, it's good to have the old one so you can compare. So here's the uh, return spring for the accelerator pump. And the accelerator pump which fell out. Um, on these you can uh, replace just the rubber and uh, when they're blue like that um, they're usually usually means they're ethanol resistant. Take a lot of pictures as I go along. You can just 
take your time on these things. They just uh, they look more complicated than they are. There's your primary median rods. Carefully, don't lose the springs. There's a little spring on there. 